Hello from Who Died Today America and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. The entertainment world mourns the loss of Erica Ashe, a brilliant luminary whose versatility spanned comedy, television, and film. At the age of 46, Erica's vibrant presence has been tragically dimmed, leaving behind a legacy of laughter and profound impact. Known for her dynamic roles on Mad TV and Survivor's Remorse, Erica brought an infectious energy and sharp wit that resonated deeply with audiences and peers alike. Erica's journey in the spotlight was marked by her extraordinary ability to embody diverse characters, seamlessly blending humor and depth. Her portrayal on The Big Gay Sketch Show showcased her as a fearless performer, unafraid to push boundaries and explore the nuances of comedy. Erica's role in Survivor's Remorse solidified her status not just as a comedic talent, but as a powerful, dramatic actress, capturing the complexities of life with every line delivered. Her sudden departure has elicited heartfelt tributes from across the entertainment industry. Lonnie Love, a close friend and colleague, expressed her profound sorrow on social media, reminiscing about Erica's unwavering dedication to her craft and the warmth she brought to every set and stage. Erica was talented and hilarious. She would put her all into her work, Love shared, reflecting the sentiment of many who worked alongside Erica. BT, where Erica delivered memorable performances in shows like In Contempt and Real Husbands of Hollywood, honored her as equal parts witty and funny, a testament to her ability to leave a lasting impression on her audience and her peers. Erica's work not only entertained but also inspired, making her a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. While the details of her untimely passing remain private, the outpouring of love and grief from fans and friends alike underscores the void Erica leaves behind. As the curtains close on her vibrant life, her spirit and artistic legacy continue to inspire those who knew her and admired her work from afar. Rest in peace, Erica Ash. Your laughter and light will be dearly missed, but your influence on the world of entertainment will endure forever. Ian Gelder, a distinguished British actor known for his versatility in both stage and screen roles, passed away at the age of 74 due to complications from bile duct cancer. Born in Gloucestershire on June 3, 1949, Gelder's passion for acting led him to adopt his mother's maiden name as his stage name, embarking on a prolific career that would span decades. Gelder's talent shone brightly in television, most notably as Mr. Decker in Torchwood Children of Earth, and as the steadfast Kevin Lannister in HBO's Game of Thrones. His portrayal of Kevin Lannister brought a nuanced representation of loyalty and morality to the epic saga, earning him acclaim and the affection of fans worldwide. His return to the series after a three-year hiatus was met with great enthusiasm, highlighting his significant impact on the series' narrative. His contributions to the stage were equally impactful. Gelder's performance in Titus Andronicus at Shakespeare's Globe Theatre and his numerous other theatrical roles showcased his dynamic range and deep understanding of character and text. His role in The Low Road and other productions displayed his ability to handle both classic and contemporary material with equal finesse. Gelder's personal life was filled with love and companionship, sharing his life with actor Ben Daniels, whom he met in 1993. The couple's relationship was both a personal and professional cornerstone for Gelder. Daniels' dedication during Gelder's illness exemplified their deep bond, with Daniels remarking on Gelder's bravery in facing his challenging final days. Ian Gelder's legacy is marked by his profound contributions to the arts, his courageous battle with illness, and his enduring influence on audiences and fellow artists. His performances, marked by intelligence and emotional depth, will remain a benchmark for excellence in acting. Michael Gambon an iconic figure of the British stage and screen, 
passed away at the age of 82 after a bout of pneumonia. Born in Dublin in 1940, Gambon's illustrious career spanned over six decades, during which he became one of the most respected and versatile actors of his generation. Knighted in 1998 for his services to drama, Gambon's legacy in the theatrical world is profound. He was an original member of the Royal National Theatre, handpicked by Laurence Olivier, which set the foundation for a career filled with memorable performances. Gambon's mastery of complex roles across a wide spectrum of genres made him a favorite not only among his peers, but also among audiences worldwide. His portrayal of characters in Shakespeare's plays like Macbeth and Coriolanus won him critical acclaim, but it was his role as Albus Dumbledore in the Harry Potter film series that introduced Gambon to a new generation of fans. His Dumbledore was both wise and whimsical, embodying the beloved wizard with a perfect balance of gravity and lightheartedness. On television, Gambon's performances were equally powerful, earning him four BAFTA TV awards, notably for The Singing Detective and Cranford. His ability to bring depth and nuance to his television roles demonstrated his exceptional skill and adaptability. Beyond his professional achievements, Gambon was known for his sharp wit and private nature, often bringing a touch of his own personality to his roles. Despite his fame, he maintained a level of mystery about his personal life, preferring to let his work speak for itself. Sir Michael Gambon leaves behind a rich legacy that includes three Olivier Awards, several memorable film roles, and countless stage appearances. His impact on the performing arts and his ability to touch the hearts of audiences around the world will not be forgotten. Shelley Duvall, an American actress and producer renowned for her distinctive characters and deep impact on the film industry, passed away from complications of diabetes at the age of 75. Born in Texas, Duvall was catapulted into the cinematic world by director Robert Altman, who was captivated by her unique presence and cast her in his 1970 film Brewster McCloud. This marked the beginning of a fruitful collaboration that saw her starring in several of Altman's critical successes, including McCabe and Mrs. Miller in Nashville. Duvall's portrayal of eccentric and nuanced characters earned her a Cannes Film Festival Award, a BAFTA nomination, and two Emmy nods underscoring her versatile acting prowess. Her performance in Altman's Three Women is particularly revered, highlighting her ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and depth. Beyond Altman's films, Duvall is perhaps best remembered for her role as Wendy Torrance in Stanley Kubrick's iconic horror film The Shining, where her portrayal of escalating terror and resilience remains a standout. Her career also extended into the realm of children's television, where she created, produced, and hosted shows like Fairy Tale Theater, bringing classic stories to life for a new generation. This venture not only showcased her creativity, but also her dedication to enriching children's entertainment. Duvall's influence extended beyond the screen. Her later years were marked by a retreat from public life, focusing on personal well-being and reconnecting with her roots in Texas. Despite facing health challenges, her legacy in film continues to inspire audiences and actors alike. Duvall's innovative spirit and memorable performances have secured her a permanent place in the annals of film history, remembered as a pioneering woman who brought depth and authenticity to every role. Darren Kent, known for his dynamic presence in both major films and television series, passed away at the age of 39. Born Darren Paul Kent, he was also known professionally as Darren Harper. His career was marked by memorable roles such as a goat herder in Game of Thrones, Jimmy Essaker in Mirrors alongside Kiefer Sutherland, and various characters in productions like Shameless, Snow White and the Huntsman, and EastEnders. Born in Essex, Kent's passion for acting led him to study at Bromford School, Southeast Essex College, and the Italia Conti stage. His ability to breathe life into diverse characters earned him critical acclaim, particularly for his portrayal of the scholar in Blood Drive, which Daniel Feinberg noted for its rapid development from an oddball to the show's only truly sympathetic character. Kent's role in the 2011 short film Sonny Boy won him the Best Actor Award at the Van Dor Awards, highlighting his skill in portraying complex emotions and characters dealing with significant challenges. Beyond acting, 
Kent was also a talented writer and director, showcasing his versatility in the 2015 gangster film Abusing Protocol. Despite his promising career, Kent battled personal health challenges including osteoporosis, arthritis, and a skin disorder. His untimely death has left a void in the hearts of those who knew him and enjoyed his work. Darren Kent's legacy is not just in the roles he played, but also in the courage he displayed in dealing with his health issues while continuing to perform. His contributions to film and television are remembered fondly by fans and colleagues alike, ensuring that his impact on the industry will not be forgotten. Spencer Milligan, an American actor best remembered for his role as Rick Marshall on the iconic 1970s children's science fiction TV series Land of the Lost, passed away at the age of 86 in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Milligan's portrayal of the adventurous father Rick captivated a generation of viewers, embedding his character in the nostalgic memories of countless fans. Milligan's career was marked by his principled stand during his tenure on Land of the Lost. After two seasons, he left the show over a dispute regarding merchandising rights, a bold move that highlighted the challenges actors faced in the industry during that era. His insistence on fairness in the use of his image on products like lunchboxes and compasses set a precedent for how actors negotiated their rights. Despite his departure from Land of the Lost, Milligan continued to influence the world of acting in a different capacity. Moving away from the glare of Hollywood in the 1980s, he settled in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex area, where he dedicated himself to nurturing aspiring actors at Adam Rourke's Film Actors Lab. His teaching and directing of local plays enriched the acting community, leaving a legacy of mentorship and dedication to the craft. Though he stepped back from television after a final appearance on General Hospital in 1987, Milligan's impact on the entertainment industry and on those he taught and directed remains significant. Remembered for both his on-screen adventures and his off-screen contributions to the arts, Spencer Milligan's legacy endures beyond the mystical landscapes of the land of the lost, touching all those who aspire to follow in his dramatic footsteps. Bernard Hill, an esteemed English actor whose diverse and powerful roles left a lasting imprint on both television and cinema, passed away at the age of 79. Renowned for his versatility and depth, Hill's career spanned over five decades, during which he delivered some truly memorable performances. Born on December 17, 1944, in Blackley, Manchester, Hill was originally training to be a teacher before being persuaded by classmate Mike Lee to pursue acting. He graduated from the Manchester Polytechnic School of Drama and quickly established himself as a formidable talent. His early prominence came with the role of Yoser Hughes in Alan Bleasdale's The Black Stuff and its sequel, Boys from the Black Stuff. His portrayal of a desperate, unemployed man uttering the phrase Giza job became emblematic of the economic hardships faced by many in Thatcher's Britain. Hill's film career was equally distinguished. He portrayed Captain Edward Smith in Titanic, 1997, and King Theoden in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, making him the only actor to appear in more than one film that won 11 Academy Awards. His roles in Gandhi, The Bounty, and Valkyrie further showcased his skill at bringing complex characters to life, earning him international acclaim. Beyond the screen, Hill contributed significantly to the stage, excelling in classics like Macbeth and A View from the Bridge. His voice also brought characters to life in animations and video games, demonstrating his adaptability and passion for various forms of storytelling. Off-screen, Hill was a passionate supporter of Manchester United and devoted father, leaving behind a legacy enriched by both his public achievements and personal commitments. As the acting world mourns his loss, Bernard Hill's vast body of work continues to inspire and captivate audiences, ensuring his place in the pantheon of great British actors. Benji Gregory, who charmed audiences as Brian Tanner on the beloved NBC sitcom ALF from 1986 to 1990, passed away tragically at the age of 46 on June 13. His unexpected death in Peoria, Arizona, is currently under investigation, with preliminary reports suggesting heat stroke as a potential cause after he reportedly fell asleep in his car. Born Benjamin Gregory Hertzberg on May 26, 1978 in Los Angeles, 
Gregory was a natural in the spotlight from an early age, thanks to a family deeply rooted in the entertainment industry. Raised in Thousand Oaks, California, he began his acting career in commercials as an infant, quickly transitioning to television where his bright personality and talent made him a household name. Apart from ALF, Gregory's notable appearances included roles in Fantastic Max, Pound Puppies, and guest spots on shows like Murphy Brown and The Twilight Zone. His voice acting in the animated feature Once Upon a Forest marked his final role in 1993. After his acting career, Gregory took a significant turn in his life path by enlisting in the U.S. Navy in 2003, where he served as an aerographer's mate aboard the USS Carl Vinson. His time in the Navy ended with an honorable medical discharge in 2005, illustrating his resilience and dedication to his country. Benji Gregory's post-Hollywood life was marked by personal milestones, including his marriage in 2006. His passing is deeply felt by those who knew him personally and by fans who grew up enjoying his performances. Remembered for his contributions both on screen and in service, Gregory's legacy is a poignant reminder of the impacts of child stardom and the diverse paths life can take. As the entertainment community and his loved ones mourn, they celebrate the memory of a life that, while faced with challenges, was lived with vibrancy and commitment. Breaking news of the day, News One. At the age of 70, the iconic Mr. T, celebrated for his roles in the A-Team and as a WF wrestler, stands as a symbol of enduring strength and resilience. Recently, Mr. T shared his victorious battle against cancer, emphasizing that the disease has met its match against his indomitable spirit. Diagnosed with a rare type of T-cell lymphoma in 1995, Mr. T encountered cancer as ferociously as he did any opponent on screen or in the ring. With his condition detected after noticing a lump while removing an earring, the diagnosis was as personalized as it was challenging. Cancer with my name on it, personalized cancer, he remarked. Despite the initial success of radiation treatment, his cancer returned with a vengeance, manifesting physically across his body. This led to a rigorous treatment regime including chemotherapy and interferon therapy, a testament to his never-surrender attitude. Mr. T's journey has been fraught with ups and downs, marked by physical pain and profound insights. Through it all, his philosophy has remained unchanged. I pity the fool who just gives up. His battle strategy against cancer has been about living vigorously, urging others to fight with tenacity and not passively await fate. Lymphoma, his adversary, is a complex enemy. As Mr. T's type falls under non-Hodgkin lymphoma, it presented unique challenges and required specific treatment approaches. His resilience not only highlights his personal strength, but also casts a spotlight on the importance of understanding and addressing this type of cancer. Today, Mr. T continues to defy the odds, living life to the fullest and maintaining his role as a motivational figure. He reminds us all that, with determination and support, life's battles are not just fought, they are won. As he puts it, we can be living with cancer, not dying from it. We can be cancer survivors. News 2. In an inspiring display of resilience and skill, American gymnast Simone Biles fought through a leg injury to secure first place in the gymnastic qualifiers at the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. Despite a concerning moment during her warm-up routine where she appeared to injure her calf, Biles demonstrated why she remains a formidable force in gymnastics. Cecile Landy, Biles' coach, reported that the gymnast experienced a slight discomfort in her calf, but confirmed there were no immediate concerns about her ability to continue in the competition. Biles' performance was nothing short of spectacular, as she notched the highest score of the event with a 15.8 on the vault, pushing the U.S. women's gymnastics team towards a likely spot in the team all-around final. Witnessed by a packed crowd that included notable figures such as Snoop Dogg, Tom Cruise, and Anna Wintour, Biles's determination was on full display. After briefly leaving the competition floor to receive medical attention, she returned with her ankle and calf taped up, ready to confront her remaining challenges head-on. The U.S. women's team finished the qualifying rounds in first place, setting the stage for high expectations in the upcoming finals. 
Biles, alongside teammates Jordan Childs and Sunisa Lee, is now poised to continue her quest for gold, embodying the true spirit of perseverance and excellence.